Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about some market movements that happened today during the beginning of Bundesliga team of the season. This team came out today in packs. There was an SBC as well, Jonathan Ta, and there was a lot of stuff that went on inside the market, a lot of stuff that was panic sold and bought back because these cards were so expensive on the market and when they came onto the game, um, they were honestly extinct for um, a good point in time. And as you can see right here, they still, for a lot of the cards at least in my opinion, are very overpriced, uh, especially the top tier guys, Lewandowski, Royce, Havertz, and some of those guys I think are still very, very, very high in price. So I wanna kinda of talk about that. And this is something that we can learn from for future team of the seasons that will be coming out. You know, La Liga, Serie A, League Un, when those team of the seasons come out, we can take what we learned today and learn from it. So first off, I want to take a look at these prices because they're honestly, they're ridiculous. Let's look at Jadon Sancho. Um, obviously got a big boost from his FFS card that came out earlier in the year today. Very hyped up player this year. He had a very great year at Dortmund. Right now he's chilling at around 2 million coins, 1.9 actually on the market right there. So he has dipped under two, but he's still pretty expensive. Um, and that's a card that a lot of people are going to try out, you know, as we go on through the week. Um, the Premier League players are out of pack, so you're seeing them stay ex extremely expensive, but that's because so many people have coins after the Thursday rewards. And that's really, is what's, that's really what is driving up the market right now and making things so, so expensive is just that the fact that you had some people on this game on Thursday when they opened rewards, the guys that were top 100, some guys got lucky packs and made 10 million coins on one pack, that ultimate um, Premier League TOTS pack. Now this weekend, I don't think you're gonna have the same amount of coins that enter the market, but it's gonna be the same thing because people are gonna be getting that ultimate pack. And even if you get some of the worst guys, you're looking at like 100K for some of these guys, you know, so maybe five or six guys are 100K. Um, that's 600,000 coins and you pack one middle of the road card, everybody's going to be making at least a million coins, maybe two million coins. And then if you hit one of the big boys, that's going to double that amount very easily. People are going to be making that again this weekend um, just because there's a lot of higher rated players in, in this Bundesliga team, higher priced, I should say. Just the fact that so many um, team of the season cards are going to be entering the market through re rewards. That's the big draw. Now, it's not going to be as big as last week, but still, it's a lot of coins that come onto the game, and especially with lightning rounds on the weekends and all the promo packs that are in the store, you're seeing some things on the market have gone higher and higher than they ever have before um, because people are coming back onto the game because team of the season, in their eyes, is pretty cool looking um, because it's kind of a promotion that might bring some people back onto FIFA that haven't been playing. And the whole, you know, these cards being in rewards has really changed how people are grinding the game because it really makes people grind for packs, grind for their weekend league rewards, and the reds that we saw this week were very, very worth it to grind for. So continue to play champs. I'm actually playing weekend league this weekend. I barely play this game and I'm going to be playing weekend league. Um, and, you know, because I saw the rewards and the possibilities that are there, even with the red picks. I'm a, like a gold three, gold two finisher if I play all my games. And that's where I'm hoping to be this week because those rewards are pretty sick. And that's really what is driving this market up. But since these cards were very, very expensive today um, and they have other versions on the game, I wanna look at some of the price movements for some of these cards today. Now I'm gonna show you my transfer list here in a second. But we're gonna look at Royce first because Royce is a very popular card and yes, he has tons of different informs on the game. I wanna focus on this 92 headliner. Look at what he's at right now. 400, when it loads, 469,000 coins, 500K MPS. Look at the graph, 377. He's up 100,000 coins from where he was on Thursday. And actually, I bought one for this price this morning. I sold it on my transfer list. I only bought one. I should have bought more. Look at what happened here this morning, 374 before the packs. Packs come out, he rises because basically what happened here was up until 6 p.m. UK, people were selling this card and trying to get rid of it because they knew the TOTS version was coming. So they sell it off, panic sell basically, his card goes down in price, 
and it rises back up. And look where he is now, 469K. I sold mine for 437. I sold too early for that card. You could have done the same thing with his other informs as well. The 91 rated inform, 385. It, it was obviously, the, earlier today, it was 200s. Yeah, 290. And now it's up to 385. What a huge price swing on that card. Right there, that was Royce. Let's look at somebody else. Jaden Sancho, you're going to see him on my transfer list as well. This is going to be the recurring thing, I think, unless they really change the pack weight um, for these cards. And one thing that I do need to mention is, um, in the team of the season right now, there are not only um, a good Bundesliga squad, we have probably one of the best two secondary leagues out in packs as well, and that's going to influence the pack percentage. You see right now it's a 10% for these 100k packs. Um, last week for the 100k packs, for the Premier League, I think it was actually like 17 or 18 percent. It was higher than this, but that was because you had the Saudi League guaranteed in there. So it was like, let's say it was 20 percent for a 100k pack last week. 19 percent was for a Saudi League tots card, and 1 percent was for a Premier League tots card. That's how they can get away with skewing this number and making it seem like, you, oh, you actually have a 10 percent chance of getting a tots player. When in all reality, you have a 10 percent chance of getting the Tots Liganos cheapest card of, um, what is this guy, Seferovic, 51k, Andre Almeida, 53k, like, even if you pack one of those cards, I mean, it's 50k, but it's nothing like actually having a 10% chance at anybody from this squad, so that's how they can kind of get away with things, um, you know, in the game, getting away with that probability number, but since those cards are very rare, and the when you, you can watch them in the first um, hour or so when they're out of packs and you can really tell how rare the cards are, that's when you start to see the rebound because people that panic sold the card realize, I don't have 3 million coins, 4 million coins to go out and buy this Royce card, so I'm going to have to go back and rebuy the one that I just panic sold and lose some coins buying the card back for a more expensive price, but that's where we as traders come in. Like we, sh like we looked at that Royce graph, the 92, he was 375 earlier this morning. I bought this Royce at um, 375, sold it for 437. Obviously, could have made more profit on that. I bought this Lewandowski for 525,000 coins, sold it at 597. These Werners were fantastic flips. I sold again. I sold too early on some of these cards because they really rebounded later into the evening. 415 for that Werner, um, and I bought all of these for 310 or below this morning. 300, 305 to 310. I bought these three at. And then Jaden Sancho was a great one. And I'm going to actually look this up on Footbin for you guys. His price was down before this because, you know, all the hype was on the Premier League. We knew the Bundesliga was coming. Wow, he's back up to 5'10". So I undersold these as well. I sold too early today on these cards. And that's something that I need to take note of for future weeks in my trading. But take a look at his graph. 418K, 414K. And he goes booming right after this because this is why these cards really rebound after the new team of the season comes out when they get a TOTS card. So they get a TOTS card, people realize, wow, this John and Sancho card is sick. I don't want to pay 2 million coins for it. Is there another version of his card that I can try? Because it basically brings hype to that player. The player gets panic sold because people think he's going to be in TOTS and they want to get his TOTS card. But then the TOTS card is way too expensive first day when it comes out. This is where the real buys are in the first hours heading up to a new team of the season. It was so easy to make coins today. I bought all these Jaden Sanchos under 420,000 coins, sold them for 470. I got one to sell at 504k right there. Um, but I honestly, I sold them all too early. Again, this is something that I need to adjust for next week, but I still made 50k profit on most of those cards, actually about 40,000 coins after tax, which was crazy, crazy money. Pulisic, I didn't make too many coins on. I just saw he was panic sold in the morning. Um, and I flipped those for like 10, 15K profit each. Now, Millie Tao is also a big one because this is a very hyped card in FIFA Ultimate Team. He had a team this season that was coming out today. This card dipped to under 200,000 coins on the Xbox today. I think about 245 on the PlayStation. And right now, we'll go look at his card on Flipped as well. I really want to make this point clear to you guys because this is an incredible way of flipping cards and trading on the actual day that team of the season comes out. Here we are with Eder Militao, 285 on PS, 260 on Xbox. And if you look at his graph, 
today. Look at this dip. He was 240, 250, and this is where I bought today because I saw he was getting a team of the season. I knew a lot of people liked this card. I went and checked his price. He was 200K. I think I bought seven of them. I wish I could have bought more. 205 right back up to 250, 260 where he stands right now. And I sold these at better prices, a lot of these at 260, 250,000 coins. But that is literally 45 to 50K profit on every card. I bought all of them at 200K or under, and I think I had seven or eight of them. So that was a very, very good profitable thing for me today. Now, this happens honestly every week. So next week, when we get the next team of the season coming out, what you're going to want to look for is popular players meta players and players that are rare in their position. This John and Sancho card before today was one of the best right wings in the Bundesliga that is available on the transfer market. You can't really count Robin in there because he was an SBC. Yes, some people have him, but this John and Sancho card was like one of the best right wingers in the Bundesliga. This Militao card had a lot of hype and of course Werner is one of the best strikers in the Bundesliga with Royce being one of the best cams, Lewandowski being up there as a big time striker as well. So next week, what you're gonna wanna do is look for players like that that are going to get in team of the season and look to flip those cards early on in the morning, two to three hours before the team of the season comes out. Today it was kind of different because they actually tweeted out this team of the season right away. So you saw more concentrated pa uh, panic selling heading up to the 6 p.m. drop because people knew it was coming and some people saw the tweet and they actually panic sold their cards. And that was actually, I think, an advantage today for some of us traders looking to flip cards on the market just because of the fact, whoa, that's an undercut. 650, is that still there? That is not there. Figures, that was a big undercut. Um, but you just saw a lot of that panic selling happening this morning. That's the main thing that I wanted to talk about in this video and I wanted to really go in depth with that because that's something that I think we can all do um, on, on a Friday morning easily. You can check the market, you know, okay, this next week, let's say La Liga comes out. Well, for La Liga, we're going to be looking at maybe um, center backs and right backs, maybe like a, fa a Fanta version of Sergio Ramos because obviously he has the team of the year. He might get a team this season. You know, we're going to be looking at cards like that in a game. Maybe a guy like Messi. It just all depends on the panic sell. But when you see something like this, it's pretty obvious that this is a panic sell when you know that he is a very high rated card and you know that these TOTS cards first day are always so expensive because there's no upgrade packs, there's no guaranteed SBCs. And for these the next upcoming leagues, nobody has saved packs. And that's what really made the Premier League and the team this season most consistent actually cheaper at the beginning because people had saved packs that they were waiting to open. And obviously for these team of the seasons, not as many people have those packs. So again, today, that was the main thing that I wanted to talk about. I want to also take a look at the high rated golds because I know a lot of you guys like to invest in golds. And since the market is so high right now, if you see these, let's say this go, this video is going to go up on Saturday, you see these guys get down to like 16K, um, Xbox and PlayStation, both the 86 rated players, I think that's a huge time to club stock because all it takes is one or two SBCs, a flashback Goretzka, a flashback Boateng, or any other flashback SBC from the Bundesliga. Bundesliga has a lot of hype this year. People will do that SBC if it's cheap. And a lot of people are doing icon SBCs again because of the upgrade packs. People are crafting, you know, people are doing the upgrade packs, getting the high rateds, and then going and doing icons. And people are just doing SBCs because they have tons of coins. Saturday and Sunday, look to do a club stock with the 85s, 86s. Now, it obviously depends if we do get an SBC. So just keep watching these prices. When you see 16K for the 86s, that's a good club stock time. And low 20s, these are getting close to club stock area. If you see uh, 20 to 21,000 coins for the 87s, that's good. And then the low 30s for 88s is very good for club stocking as well. Uh, the 85s need to drop a bit more, in my opinion. I like to see those at 8,000 coins or 9K, at least under 10K uh, for a club stock on those. But keep watching on those cards this week. Keep watching on the team of the week as well because there's some good flipping opportunities during lightning rounds and especially some investment ability, especially with a guy like Weg Weghorst, I think his name is. Because we're in the Bundesliga, there's going to be inform requirements. There's going to be people that are going to do SBCs. So this card right here might be a decent investment during lightning rounds if you can get him for like, what is he going for right now? Weghorst, let me look him up. He's an 86 rated inform from the Prem, or from the Bundesliga, 29,000 coins. 
What was he earlier today? 27, 26,000 coins. That's ridiculous. If you see this card again, 26,000 coins, this is an SBC warrior for later in this week when they put out other, you know, like a flashback or more team of the season, Bundesliga, SBCs. That's a great investment. Pick a couple up, throw them on your transfer list. You can't go wrong with any, anything like that, especially as people continue to do icon SBCs with all the coins that are on this game. Again, to be a part of that coin engine, to get some a chance at sick rewards. I mean, EA is doing awesome with the rewards for foot champs. Everybody's loving it. Um, definitely go out and try to get yourself um, at least silver one because silver one, there is no rating cap on the player pick special item um, from the rewards that you get there. So at least try to get silver one, 11 wins. And then the real money range is gold three, gold two. And then if you can't, get anything above Elite uh, 3, just honestly stick with the Gold 2 and Gold 3 because those are, again, this week were very OP and very meta for player picks and for uh, rewards. So weekly objectives as well. I honestly haven't looked at these too much. What do we have over here in the weekly objective section? Tots, Thorgan, Hazard, Eggstein, 14 goals using German players. That's pretty easy. Assist using a Belgian player in seven separate rivals matches. Okay, and then Tots Brahimi win seven online single matches using 11. So you have to grind a little bit for these, except for the, the Eggstein. But that's a free Tots that you'll be able to get. Um, yeah, so basically today, Saturday, content-wise, I'm not entirely sure what we could get. Maybe another player SBC or a flashback. Keep your eyes open for that. That could be very expensive. So if you see these cheapest players by rating, if you see these 86s in the morning before lightning rounds hit, if you see them at like 16,000 coins, go out, pick them up, throw in your club, and you'll be ready to complete SBCs or to sell those cards when they get increased in price because of all this stuff going on. One last thing, if, you look, if you're looking to buy any of the new TOTS cards, hold off. The new TOTS buy day, after we learned from last week, is... Tuesday when the guaranteed SBC comes out that is the buy day for these tots cards after that with rewards people are going to put them in their teams and prices are going to keep going sky high so that's one thing I want you guys to keep in mind as well so from Sunday to Tuesday that's when we're going to be looking to pick up some of these tots cards if you want them in your end game team and if you don't pack them you're going to have to buy them before Thursday because what we saw on Thursday was they all shot up as everybody wanted them not everybody packed them but everybody got coins from rewards and the market shot up because of it if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you do have any questions and subscribe of course subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out